This is the Huawei Nova 7i, the successor to one of the most hyped phones in the world, which is the Huawei Nova 5T. Huawei took everything you loved about the Nova 5T and made it better. Well, almost everything. Depending on the region you are, this phone has different names. If you are in China, this is called the Huawei Nova 6 SE. If you are in Europe, this is the Huawei P40 Lite. And if you are in Africa and other parts of the world, Welcome to the Huawei Nova 7i. I don't know why and how Huawei comes up with the names to use, but I know everything you need to know before buying this phone. And this is the review that tells you everything you need to know about the Huawei Nova 7i coming up next. Have you ever failed? Are you listening? Damn. Hi guys, welcome to another edition of Cyber Reviews. Before we can talk about the Huawei Nova 7i, we need to go back in time a little bit to a year ago when the Nova 5T was released. Trust me, it will all make sense by the time this review is over. See, the Nova 5T, in my opinion, was one of the best value phones anyone could buy. And over 25,000 people agreed with me when I posted my review on the Nova 5T. It had everything that the average consumer could ever want without having to sell a kidney to afford. It had a flagship processor, amazing cameras, 8 gigs of RAM, an ultra fast fingerprint sensor, a beautiful design, gaming, productivity, photography and content creation all wrapped up in less than $400. And yes, it had a fast charging adapter included in the box. This was a winning formula. So fast forward, this year is 2020 and there's a successor to the Nova 5T. And Huawei decided to do even more this time. They listened to the complaints people had concerning the Nova 5T and fixed them. Let's talk about it. If you are new to my channel though, I do mobile phone reviews, mobile app reviews and I bring to you affordable gadget reviews to help you make an informed decision when you are making your next purchase. So if you like that kind of content, please click on the subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you do not miss any episode. See, one of the concerns I had with the Nova 5T was that I had a small battery, 3750 mAh of battery capacity, when most phones had 4000 mAh, was pretty small. So Huawei threw in a 4200 mAh battery in the Nova 7i. One other thing that everyone loved about the Nova 5T was the fast charging adapter, 22.5 watts, capable of charging the phone from 0 to 50% in about 30 minutes. Well, for the Nova 7i, you get a 40 watts fast charging adapter. Yep. Huawei says it can charge up to 70% in 30 minutes this time. The Nova 7i brought back the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Why is this important to me? Because my car does not have a Bluetooth system. So when playing music, I connect it to my aux port. That is why this is so important to me. But let me know in the comments if a 3.5 millimeter jack is important to you or not. Now let's look at the design. The Nova 7i is made of glass in front and plastic at the back. So you do not get the fancy gradient design you got on the Nova 5T. But I can live with that. It means that you don't need to worry too much about having a broken glass back if you drop it from a height. Plus, the phone comes with a clear plastic case and screen protector already installed on it. In 2020, for some reason, almost every phone has a rectangular or square camera bump, like the Samsung Galaxy S20 series. But the Nova 7i chose to look more like the iPhone 11 Pro Max at the back, with the camera layout, which makes it very unique from the other brands and you can easily recognize it when you see it. The fingerprint sensor is still embedded in the power button and it is still one of the fastest fingerprint sensors you are ever going to use. Let me know in the comments if you prefer a fingerprint sensor under the display of your phone or embedded in the power button or any other kind of implementation. Now in terms of the display, on the front of the device, it looks pretty similar to the Huawei Nova 5T. Same hole punch, IPS LCD display. Whereas the Nova 5T was 6.26 inches in size, this is slightly bigger at 6.4 inches. The screen is very bright and colors are vibrant as well. It is a great device for consuming content, period. Another improvement made over the Nova 5T is that 
this phone has expandable storage of up to 256 gig but comes with 128 gigs of internal storage as well as 8 gigs of ram this phone has five cameras in total four at the back which are very impressive and one in front the standout feature for me when it comes to the cameras is the night mode photography Pictures shot in low light conditions or at night can be as bright as day. The selfie camera is also more refined this time, making it more detailed instead of the softer pictures you find in, on the Nova 5T. I will do a more detailed review on the cameras as well as a spec for spec review between the Nova 5T and the Nova 7i. So kindly subscribe if you have not already. When it comes to performance, Huawei did not make any improvements this time, but added a mid-range processor, which is the Kirin 810 chipset. If you are comparing it to the Nova 5T, the Nova 5T has a Kirin 980 chipset, which is far more powerful. But as a phone manufacturing company, sometimes you need to make a trade-off, especially if you want to keep the price of the device very low. So to me, this is perfectly understandable this does not mean that it's a terrible processor don't get it twisted at all it could play all the games i tested it with very smoothly games were played in full screen mode without any issues like one issue i had with the nova 5t was that sometimes the games don't fully wrap around the screen and somebody mentioned in the comments that this could be because those games were not optimized for that kind of display. But I haven't had that kind of issue with the Huawei Nova 7i. The Nova 7i comes with Android 10 out of the box. And speaking about Android, we cannot have a review on a Huawei device in 2020 without talking about Google Play services and Google apps because of the US ban on Huawei phones. What that means is this phone does not have the Google Play Store on it and so you may not have access to some of your favorite Google apps such as Gmail, YouTube, etc. But there is a workaround to get most of the apps you like. I have a separate video on this where we go into more details so please click on the card above to watch that if you do intend to buy this phone in ghana this phone retails for 1579 cities which is a really cheap price somewhere around 300 dollars considering what the phone offers in terms of features so let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are on the nova 7i and which other phone you like me to compare it with thanks Bibri. The Nova 7i comes with Android 10 out of the box. And speaking about Android, we cannot have a review on a Huawei Nova. <sighs> the Huawei Nova 7i comes with Android 10 out of the box. And speaking about Android, we cannot have a review on a Huawei device in 2020 without talking about Google Play services and Google apps because of the US ban on Huawei phones. What that means is this phone does not have the Google Play store on it. And so, you know, me <laughs> there, hmm. uh, the Nova 7i comes with <laughs> oh this thing is not easy the Nova 7i comes with Android 10 out of the box and speaking about Android we cannot have a <laughs> the Nova 7i comes with Android 10 <laughs> Oh, sorry guys. <laughs>